Hello, greetings, and welcome. After reading Chapter 1 on an introduction to operations research, I just wanted to take a few minutes to highlight a few of the important concepts from the chapter. So what is operations research? Um, so operations research is the use of quantitative techniques to make and prepare decisions by determining the most efficient way to act under given circumstances. And a major driving force for the development of operations research um, has been industrialization. Right? So um, in you know, an industrial setting, I'm constrained by some finite re number of resources, and perhaps you know, my goal is to make as much money as, prof as possible, so to maximize my profits. Um, so given I want to make these three products, um, I know that the net profit of each product is, is some dollar amount, and I have three machines to make them. Um, What's the most efficient way to, you know, operate those machines so that I make as much money as, as possible? And historically, you know, World War II is often attributed to, you know, kind of a, a major breakthrough in the development of operations research. And so if you just think about the situation of World War II, um, here we have countries with some finite number of resources, um, and they want to make the most of those resources available to them to ultimately win the war. Right? And so there the, the stakes are certainly a lot higher uh, than just maximizing profits uh, at a company. Um, and, you know, one point, so, you know, while this is great, right, so operations research is this powerful, um, you know, method or powerful field of, of research out there, um, you know, that's used for developing, um, you know, m models and, and methods to, you know, optimize, uh, you know, uses of resources. Um, you know, in this third bullet here, we list the awareness with an exclamation point. Okay, and the reason for this is, you know, a major focus of, of this course um, and a major focus of, of the textbook is on awareness. And the idea is, is in order to implement operations research, um, in order to, you know, take advantage of, you know, the, the techniques available, um, one first needs to be aware of what operations research is, when it's applicable, um, and what it can do, right? And so a lot of the emphasis of this course and on the textbook will be in, you know, what types, identifying types of problems where operations research is applicable um, and setting up models uh, that could ultimately be solved, okay? Now, uh, only a small part of this course will be devoted to solving problems and, you know, what this comes down to is the first major point is knowing what operations research is, when it could be applied, um, and then ultimately, you know, there'll be other people, you know, in the company that you're working for, or there'll be some software package out there that could facilitate the actual solution part of it, right? And so the focus of this course is on awareness, making sure you're aware of the types of problems you can solve, uh, how to solve them, what operations research is, so you can love uh, operations research in your future endeavors. So in terms of modeling, okay, again, operations research is going to be concerned with quantitative models and their solution. Okay. So when we're modeling, um, you know, process, it's important to distinguish between real life and a model, right? So a models, you know, you could think of as a simplified version of reality. So when developing a model, there are going to be certain assumptions that need to be made, a or approximations that need to be made. There's going to be certain details that are going to get, need to be left out um, to allow the you know actual ability to solve um, your problem. Okay, and so there's often this fine balance of you know level of detail um, and you know quantitative predictability of, of a model. Um, and oftentimes, if there's some process you're trying to model, this could be an iterative process, right? How much detail needs to be included uh, so that I can still solve it, um, but I want to make sure my results are as accurate or representative of reality as, as possible. Okay. And in terms of, you know, I guess reviewing a couple of pieces of, of jargon to make sure we have the jargon right as we, you know, enter into these um, modeling problems. So remember that what we want to do or what we want to accomplish, um, that's our objective, right? We want to maximize uh, our profits. Okay, so what we want to do is our objective. What we have to do, um, or what our requirements are, are going to be our constraints, right? So my objective would be to maximize um, my profits, 
Um, my constraints might be the raw materials or machines I have available um, to make product. Okay. In terms of you know our knowns, when we develop our model, um, our knowns right are known as parameters. Right. So our knowns are parameters, and our unknowns are our variables. So knowns are parameters. Our unknowns, which we wish to solve for, um, will be our our variables. Okay. Cool. And a last point, okay, so our four concerns of operations research uh, is one, uh, feasibility, uh, can we do this? Two, optimality, is this the best we can do with what we have? Three, sensitivity, what happens if some of the input parameters or conditions beyond our control change? And four, implementability, is the solution that we have obtained something that we can actually do? Okay. Great. Okay, and I guess just one last comment on point two and three on optimality and, and sensitivity. Okay, so remember optimality, you know, we're trying to, you know, maximize say profits using some finite number of resources. So we want to make the most of, of what we can do. Sensitivity is, you know, beginning in chapter two, when we start to work with linear programming, um, we're gonna have to con um, model our constraints as being hard, right? And so what I mean by that um, is maybe um, we have three machines available to our, um, to um, make product on. Um, but, you know, in the real world, you know, perhaps, you know, on a given day, a machine breaks down and, and we have two, um, only two working machines, um, or maybe, you know, uh, managers suggested buying a fourth to, to produce more. And so a sensitivity analysis also come, often comes in to look at what the effect of changing a parameter or constraint in my uh, model is. So let's solve the problem with three machines, which is what I have available. But then look at, let's look at what the effect of adding or removing a machine is um, on our solution. Okay. So feasibility, optimality, sensitivity, uh, implementability. Okay. There you have it. Okay. There's chapter one, our introduction to operations research. In our next chapter, we'll move into linear programming and begin to solve some linear programming or basic optimization problems. All right, hope that helps.